In today's video, I will teach you how to make a drop down shadow in GIMP. Let's get started. First, prepare the canvas or the background of your text by opening it on GIMP. If you prefer a plain background, you can do so by clicking on New, change the image resolution, and hit OK. But in this tutorial, I will be using this image as a text background. Now, click on the text tool at the toolbar or simply press T on your keyboard. And then click on the background image to create the text layer. Type in the word that you like and change the text settings on the text panel. You can change the font style, font size, and color on the text panel. To align the text, simply click on the Move tool and select the Alignment tool or simply hit Q on your keyboard. Now align the text to your preference. Once you're satisfied with the text, you can go ahead and right-click on the text layer and select Alpha to selection. With the text selected, click on the Create New Layer icon at the bottom of the Layers panel and make sure to change the Fill option with Transparency before clicking OK. Now click on the Select tab on the menu bar and select Grow. Adjust the number to the size to which you want your selection to grow. For this tutorial, I will be using 10, but you can adjust it to your preference. Once you're satisfied, click OK. Now click on the Fill Bucket tool and select black on the color panel before filling in the selected area. Now press shift Control a on your keyboard or simply right-click on the selected area and click Select and click None to deselect. You can now move the filled layer below the text layer and reposition it to look like it's a drop-down shadow. If you're satisfied with how your text looks, you can now save it. But if you would like to improve the shadow, Go ahead and click on the Filters tab on the menu bar, click Blur, and click Gaussian Blur. Make sure to enable the Preview option to see the changes as you adjust the settings. Now, change the value of the blur by adjusting the X and Y slider. Once you're satisfied, you can now go ahead and click OK. Now you can adjust the opacity of the shadow to your liking, but if you're satisfied with how the shadow looks, you can now save it to your computer. If you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell so that you can be updated whenever we upload new tutorials.